so now in this video we will connect all of the police officer animations as you can see right here we have the parameters right here and we have set all of the animator controller as you can see but now before moving forward what we will do now right here is actually let's remove these four animations so just simply select these four animation and delete it and now if we click on this walk forward assault rifle right here in the motion it shows none because we have deleted these four animations as you can see now what we will do is just go ahead and download this unity package file which will be by the name of animations actually it will be inside this winner file so just download that winner file and then extract it and it will give you this animation unity package then just simply double click on it and when you double click on it it will give you this window so just simply click on import and it will be imported inside your game as you can see right here it is the animations folder and then in here we have this four animations as you can see if we check the rig of all of the animation it is humanoid and the avatar definition is copy from other avatar guys if you are using some other animation then make sure that your animation rig is humanoid and also the character which you will be using make sure that the character rig is also humanoid but if you are just following me then the police officer will be the same but just go ahead and download these four animations and once you download four of these animations then what we will do that right here in the animations we will just move that folder animations and paste it inside this animations okay so now we have a lot of folders by the name of animations and animations but now as you can see we have the animations right here now let me expand all of these animations and as I told you that these animations right here in the animator controller is missing the motion so now we will add the motion so the first one is the walking forward assault rifle so we will drag and drop this motion in there then the next one is the run so right here we have the run then we have the death so we will add that one then we have the shoot so drag and drop the shoot as well then save this if you double click on it it is already set to loop time as you can see now after this what we will do inside the scripts folder and then inside the police npc let's open up the police officer script right here in the destination variable header let's create a reference to the police officer animator so we will say public animator and let's name this as animator as well then if we scroll down to the walk function right here after this move ai we will say animator dot set bool and we want to set the walk to true then we will say animator dot set pool and now right here we will set the shoot to false then after this we will say animator dot set pool and now i will set the run to false after this in the chase function we will uh, set the run to true and the walk and shoot to false so we will simply type animator.set bool run true and the walk and shoot will be false then right here in the shoot function at the top we will set the shoot to true and the run and walk to false so we will say run false shoot will be false as well i mean walk will be false and then shoot will be true that is it you can now see all of the animations and after adding all of these line of code in your script just save the script and when you save the script let's change to the scene view and right here click on the police officer we need to assign the animator so let's just drag and drop the animator in there and once you do that now let's play the game let me set the screen to maximize 
and now as you can see the police officer is walking okay he is walking as you can see now what we will do for example if we shoot someone and the first level is activated as you can see the police officer run towards us and now as you can see in the console it shows shooting player and the police officer is shooting us as you can see and now if you run away from the police officer you will notice that he is running towards us now if you run to that direction you will notice that he is running to us now let's run away from the police officer and you will notice the police officer will get back to the waypoints again now if we run away from the police officer as you can see he's still following us now let's run and run and run i think he will catch us because the okay now as you can see now the police officer is getting back to the waypoint now if we get closer to the police officer so whenever he sees us he will follow us again as you can see now he is running towards us again okay and you can notice the car stopped when it reaches the police officer and now the car drives again when the police officer moves away from the car as you can see the car is moving perfectly fine as well so now the police officer is working perfectly fine now as you can see the police officer can damage the player as you can see now the present health is decreasing now in the next video what we will do we will damage the police officer as well so with this done i will catch you guys in the next one